Here's a penny. Throw a coin to your streamer. He's losing on Act 1. He's losing on Act 1. As I was dying to the Guardian, you threw a penny at my face. Oh, what am I supposed to say? Yo, TLA, thank you for the Twitch Prime, buddy. Welcome back. Appreciate it. No, look, it's a strong deck, but I should have used a shrink pot. Man, that was a disrespect to the guard and to the nth degree. Alright, anyways, it's okay though, because first runs of the day tend to be like that. It's limit testing. Choose a card, chain 100 gold, or remove two cards. No, you're fine, guitar. I'm just messing around. You're fine. What's that rap out? Yeah, it is different, man. Okay. To go over multi cards, boss. Well, like, okay, let's see what we got here. Hmm. I started streaming regularly, and I'm wondering if I need to mark for. Uh, it depends. I mean, how mature is the things you're doing, Nine Tail? Are you doing some Nine Tail Ari cosplay tentacle stuff? I mean, let me know. I might have to check it out. Boss like, looks nice, yes, but I want to go for three elites, so we could do three elites. Boss will like and go for the ultra high roll. Um, is it, if I go for the hundred gold, I could go for the shop, and then the shop can dictate what I get. At these three elites. That's really ambitious. Fuck it. Oh, ambition is my middle name. Toss a coin to your streamer. Oh, Act One Death. I swear a lot and play M-rated games now. M-rated games, that could mean a lot of things. Um, I mean, sure, man. Market as mature for audience. It's not gonna be, uh... You'll be fine. You're fine. The average age of Twitch is like... I think the average Twitch viewer is mature anyways, right? Maybe I'm, maybe I'm just a misguided, naive child. Thinking that the average age is like mature, anyways. I don't know. Maybe I'm just a naive little summer child. But uh, that's my philosophy. You know, because I've grown up with these Twitch guys, these Twitch viewers. We've matured as a group. I want the front loaded, baby. The average age is older than me for sure. We said Ogis Rashas. The average is. It, you're telling me all the Twitch is a boomer? I doubt that. I wasn't going that far. Looks are deceiving. I'm a hard doubt for that one. Double poison, though. Uh, let me eat this banana. First I feel spicy today, so we're gonna need a banana because I want to be on my toes. Maybe it's in my head. This is a, this is a really large banana, actually. <laughs> All the kids on TikTok, TikTok is blowing up. It's huge, absolutely massive. I think we should all unironically make TikToks and try to make a TikTok career. Unironic. If we were to like translate, let's let's let's, let's brainstorm. What do you think is the easy, not not the easiest, but the best way to blow up on TikTok? Doing dances. So like. Should I practice my dance moves, guys? Just help me blow up on TikTok? Let me know if this would do well. So, like, you go to TikTok, right? I had to crouch because I'm too tall for this. This is, this would be like my, um... I had to crouch way too much. I can't dance like this. I'm not rushing. But I was going to say, that, like, guys, I think if I start dancing, we'll become TikTok famous. 
Do you guys ever see my old Instagram? My old Instagram. I used to do like dance stuff. And Elle used to... I like to dance a lot. And Elle likes to uh, embarrass me by filming me while I'm dancing. I don't know. I have some ideas. Alright, shop time. Crippling cloud and footwork. And the game is over. We are winning already. We are winning already. I'm feeling strong as fuck. Look at me go. Three elites. No problem. Alright. How much do I weigh? I've lost some weight probably. I don't know. I gotta go check. A decent amount, I guess. You know. More than the average streamer probably. I mean, I don't know what that's supposed to mean. Streamers are very, very, <laughs> very thing. What I'm trying to say is that like, you know, gamers tend to be like very skinny, scrawny, and I, I, I do fit that category, but I'm like a little bit less than the average, I guess. A little bit more than the average. I forget what I'm, I have a point I'm trying to make, but uh, it's not quite coming out. Wow, what a split. What a split. Blur? Yes. Okay, so, yeah, put some Adidas, put an Adidas tracksuit on me and I can look like the perfect Gopnik. Adidas tracksuit on me ASAP. Guys, I haven't danced in a while, but my God. We're about to be TikTok famous. I'm gonna lean back. That's why we have a new chair so I can lean back. Let's go. Yes. Yes. This is how you play Static Spire. You just lean back. Adrenaline. Look at this. Look at this. Just easy. Everything comes to you. Strength versus cunning. Hmm. Strength versus cunning. I mean, the thing is, we're doing a lot of poison stuff. The strength is good with the cutting. Ah, we're good. Who is the first one up? Free fight, free fight. I kind of want to do this, but I also want to save it. But if I get Crippling Cloud now, I'll just start the fight. I was only asking about the mature thing because I've been told if I don't mark it, I'll get banned. I just want to insight. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, so yeah, dude, do it. Dude, add, add mature just to cover your ass. I don't know. I don't do a lot of mature content, at least not intentionally. But if you want to cover your ass, and I mean like cover your ass so that it's, you know, not TOS. Because I know you're probably twerking on stream. And I want to see that. Everybody wants to see that. But just cover your ass literally and uh, you'll be fine. All right, let's get the footwork out and let's get the uh, crippling cloud out, and let's begin. I wonder if crippling cloud duplication is worth it, just to kind of get all the poison. We're probably gonna get more. I mean, this is not the elite I'm worried about, but I'm worried about the fact that this is gonna be. Guess um, we say, can we say? I'm gonna get a potion out of this, so I want to just take advantage of potions that I have and make the fight easier for me. So three elites is no problem, and the fight is over. There we go, GG. Just like that. The man, the myth, the legends. All right, so this is always gonna be easy. So hopefully, we get a potion back. Hey, smoke bomb. That's not what I wanted, but Jesus Christ, the options are out of control right now. So malaise makes the guardian completely disrespectable. I want to disrespect the guardian so hard with this malaise. Um, in terms of elite fights, we're having gremlin or triple century, which malaise is a curse in that fight. But even so, malaise is still just too good to pass up. Now, Crippling Cloud number two is really, really good. But Malaise is a certain type of uh, utility card that you really want. And I'm at a nice strength level at the moment to justify taking it. And we got a Horn Cleat, so we are absolutely having a strong run. It would suck if this streamer pilots this into the ground. Imagine. Imagine if this streamer pilots this right into the ground. Now, first upgrades, the priorities are going to be Footwork, Adrenaline, Malaise. Hmm. One of these three. 
One of these three is better than the others. Guys, this new chair is kind of bad because like, this is how I want to stay. And now you guys are going to hear me further away. I'm, I'm going to be less inclined to want to clip the cards. I'm just relaxing too much. What is the fastest way to get banned on Twitch? It's funny you ask that. I've been wanting to do this. Uh, that's the fastest way. Please no Clipperino. Please no Clipperino. Upgrading adrenaline is kind of like... Oh, imagine Omamori. Imagine Omamori. Alright, so Clipping Cloud. Here's what I want to do. I want this to be gone. I want that to be gone. And then I can do that. Yup. And we'll take a little bit of extra block. Because let me explain what's about to happen. Horn is about to come in and swoop the swoop. And we make this guy weaken so that next turn he does less damage. And my god, are we are just playing prime time sleeper silent. Isn't it just great when the silent is this boring and this easy? Unbelievable. Alright. <clears throat> You're sitting there just like that. <laughs> Silent tends to be the biggest resident sleeper, intangible poison, optimal gameplay. Look at me go. I'm winning, but I'm losing in life. No, I'm kidding. I'm totally kidding. I, I, silent is great. I love the silent. It's just, uh, no, this is great. Silent's fine. Literally, no hate. I'm just talking out of my ass. I'm appealing to the low minded mentality. I'm a dirty streamer for doing that. Dirty boy. Dagger Spray is interesting. Um. And by interesting, I mean, hmm, let me see, Nine Tails, what's up? Guys, this is the most phallic banana I've ever seen. I'm scared to show you the sheer size of this lad. And that's, look, this thing's already been bitten. Jesus Christ, the, sh the sheer, this is a unit. What's up, Darius, how you doing, man? What are some watcher decks that are easier to get through ascensions? Um, let me explain. Battle him, wrath, the ability to get back into calm, rinse, repeat. Enjoy ascension twenty easy mode. Wallop. All right, here's here, here's a tier list. All right, you want your list? Battle him, wallop, wrath form. Vault. Uh, here's here's Esther cards. Esther cards right here. Vault. Wrathform in general. Um, battle him. Wallop. All right. A tier cards. N then we're coming up on Tantrum. Talk to the hands. Fasting. You, you incorporate some element of all those cards in your deck, you're getting to the final act. You're, you're probably beating the game, right? Incorporate some of those cards. Those are the S tier, S, S tier, A tier cards. There you go. Uh, I just taught you how to win with the, the Watcher and clip it, ship it. The whole world's going to start winning. Gremlin Knob or Lagavulin. I mean, I don't care about any of them. So I'm going to go for the Big Brain Upgrade, which is going to be for Act 2 Insurance. Bam, boom. Imagine this being my starting turn. Ooh, but I want to do a big malaise. We're going to do it anyways. Uh, let's go. So we're going to get footwork out. Look at all that damn block that is missed. Jeez. Oh, that was an unfortunate draw. I guess I could have like not done Crippling Cloud, but imagine not doing Crippling Cloud there. All right. Well, this fight's over. 
Toss a coin to your streamer, oh valley of plenty, oh valley of plenty. Toss a Twitch prompt to your streamer, he needs it, oh please. Toy only thought to so when I smoke him, I can feel good about it. Imagine. I could actually feel good about this smoke bomb. Just kidding, we're going to discard it. Alright, I'm going to disrespect the crap out of this fight. Game's over. Trivialize. That's the word of the day, boys. Trivialize. For when you go into the garden with malaise. Context clue. Trivialization. Of the Act 1 bus. Next word of the day is going to be... Good card rewards. Good RNG. Please be, be lucky. Six plus six is sixteen. Good game. Okay, six plus six is not actually sixteen, but my my math there was involving the six armor. Okay, it was too big brain for you. All right, just relax, relax. All right, no judgment. What's up, uh, Q8 Flayden? Malaysia is a good card. Malaysia is an interesting country and an even better card. Disrespecting the watcher is so fun. Alright, give me some good stuff, please, please, please. Poison pot, got it. 477 gold, my lord. Okay. Chairs like I have. Oh yes, I'm just gonna play like this. All right, guys, enjoy. You guys pick the cards. Pick, you guys handle it. Don't worry about it. I'll come back to it. This is a skip. And unfortunately, it's a skip. Like God, it's a skip. But a part of me is thinking like, okay. Maybe there's a world where I could try to put a curse named Doppelganger and have it be relevant. Guitar just redeems 5,000 points to pick in Venom. Are we going to be mad at Guitar for doing this? Venga acá, guitarra. Tengo una pregunta. Pregunta. Ah, the Durkis. Thank you for the tier one sub to Nightbot. Let's go, Nightbot. Guitar, mira mis ojos, por favor, mira mis ojos. <clears throat> ¿Por qué? How do you say choose? How do you say choose in Spanish? Fuck, never mind, forget a guitar. Um, I was gonna, I was gonna give you a scolding, but escoger, okay. Uh, do I respect the channel points, guys? I respect channel points. I'm a respectful streamer. Look at me go. Huge respect. So imagine we're taking Fusion Hammer here. And this would be okay, probably, because we have some decent upgrades as, as it is. We have Footwork, Crippling Cow, Adrenaline, Malaise upgraded, right? But the reason why Fusion Hammer is worse now is because we have Invenom, which probably wants an upgrade. <laughs> or I just treat it as a curse and get the energy. Guitar, you know, I have a special place in my tiny house for you. I kind of like IDM, but I gotta admit, Poison by the Project is the dumbest lyrics in music history. I wish I knew the that song. Maybe I've heard of it and blocked that out of my mind. If two viewers 
Okay, so here's an interesting point. If two viewers sh spend their money, or the points, not money, let's get TOS that, on a card, um, there's going to be a, a, a battle to see who wins. And how to determine the winner of the battle? Well, when we get there, I'll let you know. But there's going to be a battle. And you guys are going to have to fight it out. And it may not be in the serious sense. You guys will I'll, you'll, you'll understand the rules soon. Okay, so let's, let's take a look at Fusion Hammer, though. All right, so we have an Venom Curse. Uh, guitarra. Gracias. Muchas gracias. Okay. And then we have, you know, decent upgrades as it is. Now, Fusion Hammer, the energy is quite nice. More malaise. Crypt and Cloud is easier to play and block at the same time. And Venom is also easier to play with the energy. Hmm. Some of you will die, but that's the sacrifice I'm willing to make. Look, when two people try to sabotage me, one of you has to die. That's just what happens. It's the lesser evil. In a video game, of course. Uh, <clears throat> oh, Miha, Mihaj Love Leaky. I probably destroyed your name, but welcome, man. This episode, their the theory is. So, that is, so guys, the, I, all your opinions are wrong. Let me explain why. The best 1v1 game is StarCraft 2. So come to StarCraft 2, 1v1 me. And then we'll decide who's like the true man. Call you Mike? Okay, what's up, Mike? None of, if you guys haven't played StarCraft, you don't realize the best 1v1 game. You guys are not true gamers. You don't know RTS. You can't have valid opinions. Fastest band in the world by... Well, what? Uh, let me see. We have Fusion Hammer now. Religious text studies, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he understands. He's been to CCD. He understands. What's up, Nick? I want to do a lot of elites, but um. Okay, let me see. I want. I kind of want to do Sparkle now. I want to go for it. One v one, you want Smite? Man. What happened, bro, uh, bro Law? Like, what happened? What brought you to a point in your life that you, you started playing Smite? And then you got to the point where you actually advertised Smite to another person. Is everything okay? What's up, Mercury? How you doing, buddy? No one tried to pronounce it? I tried. Mihaj love leaky. I mean, it was very literal. Uh, hopefully, I didn't put you too hard, but hey, welcome. Welcome, Mikey Mike. Maybe we took camera. I know. I know we took camera. The other two cards were skippable. They were like um, Doppelganger and Storm of Steel. I was going to skip, but, you know, I honor redemption. If I poisoned part early, this fight would have been over. It's the only vibe on mobile. Oh, I, I respect that. I respect that. I should use the potion. Now, here's, here's like, if you guys want the optimization that I didn't do, you use the potion because there's a chance that the potion's going to drop. And then you're getting sustain off of this, right? And then the, the other optimization is like, we're forced to rest because of fusion hammer, so that's okay. But we are going to go for a really aggressive path. I should be really help, mindful of my life here. Blade Nance is like, ah, I can't take it here. Ah, damn, Venom Curse. Oh, Kunai and Wally Plants. I'll be right back. I gotta use the bathroom. This might be a Kunai run. Maybe. First we do TikTok. First we do TikTok. Tick, tock, tick, tock. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'll be right back. Be right back. Be right back. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Do you guys like my TikTok? You guys enjoy my TikTok? All right. <sighs> Kunai and Blade Nance. Oh, we missed it. We missed it. Leave now. Never come back. Okay. Okay. Uh, 
I don't want it to come back. Yeah, let's came back. Let's do this. I want to remove a strike, but bag of marbles is not bad. Okay. Well, it's weird if I have a kunai and I remove a strike, right? But nah, but removing a strike is just better here in general. Um, Futures would have been good because yeah, Futures would have been nice. Is bag of marbles better? My opening hand doesn't really take advantage of bag of marbles. Kunai for is awkward. I agree to an extent. I like the scaling of it. Who's the boss? The champ. But Kunai's really good for the champ. But I also we have blur and stuff like that. The deck right now is a little bit weird, to be honest. It's got a lot of weird stuff going on with it. It's got a lot of weird stuff going on right now. Hi, welcome to my curse. Hourglass is going to be big here. Huge. Massive. Yeah, so Kunai is going to be really weird because I can't upgrade things like Cloak and Dagger. There's just a lot of things that make Kunai awkward here. Again, potions. I should be using them. If I drop a potion, okay, I got to use these potions. So dodge rolls gonna be really good because we have footwork and we have kunai, right? So that's just gonna be better than dash. But dash helps me actually get the kunai proc. Isn't that kind of weird? It's a little weird, right? Because we don't have a lot of attacks. So dash can get me there. Sure. And we have four energy. I should use this. I should use the potion. I should use it. I really should. I'm gonna use it before the fight's over. Yeah, but I have Crippling Cloud and I have Malaise for Weaken. I'm fine with that. I wanna use this before this is over. Because they might drop a potion. I want that HP because I'm going for a big elites. Easy fight. So there's Cloak and Dagger and there's Kunai, but like, I don't know, I kind of regret this path that I took with Kunai because <sighs> not being able to upgrade Cloak and Dagger feels kind of bad, but it feels like it's still pretty good here. And I'm going a really aggressive elite path. Let's hope this works out well. Yikes. Yikes, 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 yikes. I'm gonna lazy girl in the back, but I should have been a big guy because he's my threat, right? But we're. Look at this. Wow. Jesus Christ. This deck is struggling. Like a struggling. Andy Rich Streams, thanks for the follow, buddy. Wait. <laughs> I think you got the wrong person, Andy. It's not struggling, but like, it should be doing more damage.
It's okay. I mean, it's not struggling, but I guess I wanted to do more. I guess I'm, maybe I'm just being greedy, huh? Just asking for more. To be fair, I didn't get Wally Plains out. That would have made a big difference in this fight. I mean, you know, whatever. We're not... Get a potion, maybe. Nope, no potion. Piercing Wheel, yes. Dodge and Roll is good. But Piercing Wheel is pretty damn better. <laughs> it's all good, man. Yo, thank you for the follow, man. Alright, let's use this, because this has region. And I want to do Crippling Cloud. I also want to get Malaise out, but here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking I do Wally Plans. I can do Piercing Wheel now, right? I could do piercing while while they plans and then do my lady's next turn. It's probably over. I got a decent amount of poison on him. I just my lady's now while I have all this adrenaline. That sh the fight should be over, right? Like the fight should be over. Yes, yes. I'm gonna get this damn venom curse out if that's the last thing I do. Yo, Bougie, thank you, man. Is that man that keeps appearing in your dreams? This guy, this book is stabbing. Yeah, he's always in my dreams. But today, I'm the dream killer. You know when you have a dream and you can't punch or run or you can't do anything properly and you're wondering what the hell's going on? Well, today's not one of those dreams. Today, I can punch and run. Oh, I can punch and run and get lucky. <laughs> okay, catalyst. No, like you're running, but like your legs are like like not touching the ground. It's like spaghetti noodle floating. All right, this turn one is horrible. Jesus, give me a second. All right, could be worse. I need to upgrade while they plans. I mean, I need, I need upgrades. I've always thought of it as running through Swamp or Quicksand. Yeah, it affects everybody differently. Sleep paralysis is awful. I've had some problems with sleep paralysis in the past. Like, I know it sounds weird, but maybe you guys don't understand this. I can't sleep on my back. And this is the weirdest thing. I can't sleep on my back or fall asleep on my back. Because I'm more prone to sleep paralysis if I'm out, if I'm on my back. Strange, huh? I think it's I think there's science involved in that. I mean, it's not just it's not just me saying that. There is science involved in that. But uh, like if I sit falls on my back, I'm more prone to sleep paralysis. Strange stuff. Potion, please. I cannot see if I was. I just want sleepy. I hear you. I feel you. Poison is pretty good, guys. Like, if there's a card I'm taking for a little bit of kunai uh, stuff, Poison Side Plus is probably not the worst, right? I would have to move some strikes. I mean, deck's pretty good as it is. Remove a strike. I really want to upgrade while they plans, but I can't. I'll do this. This is fine. It is scientifically backed. Yeah, it is scientifically backed. Uh, for some reason. Oh, this is a bad first turn yet again, but okay. I can touch, I can feel, I can hear, I can see so much more than a fantasy. I can run, I can jump, I can dance, I can sing, believe in yourself, and do anything, believe. Wow. What? Yes, keep going. It's like you go to sleep and bam, it's eight hours later. Yes, isn't it weird consciousness? And isn't it weird this turn? Wait a second. I'm blaming this on Guitar. Guitar gave us an Invenom and look what it brought us. Guitar, this could have been an Adrenaline or a Crippling Cloud, but it's an Invenom and I'm mad. And there's no potions. Where are my potions? And why are we losing? I'm sleep Am I dreaming? Is this sleep paralysis? Is this a nightmare? Wake up. What's up? I just found a channel recently. Been, been watching all your vids. Mad? Just finally see you streaming for real. Hey, thank you, man. Alright, I think I'm turning off channel point redemptions for like the first couple of runs. 
Sabotage is too strong. No, okay. Let's see what we can do here. Let me see. 10. 8. 18. 18 kills the guy in the back. We're, we're alive. All right? We're alive. We're alive, but, like, not just barely, you know? Are we really living? Are we really living right now? Are we really living? Holy shit, we did it. If I were to give a chance to live life without ever needing sleep, yes, I would. I mean, think how much time we spend sleeping. I mean, think about the anxiety going to sleep sometimes. If you're, you know, it doesn't always happen that way. Ray from yes. I can't upgrade it though. Ah, bottle turning into while they plants, but I can't upgrade that either. Jesus Christ. This run has like everything you'd want, but it's got in venom and no upgrades. It's like, uh, okay, it's like halfway there. But um, like if you could, if you could theoretically function just as fine and just live a 24-hour day without eating sleep who would say no i mean i know some people would say no for various reasons but yes 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 um no we're not bottling in venom i'm never bottling a curse that's absolutely no but while well, a plans is a decent bottle and i guess footwork plus because since this can't be upgraded but still like while well, plans is still superior for things like catalyst and ray form etc should take the tiny house. If I take tiny house, I would actually be doing better this run. Can you believe that? So I have a lot of gold. I want to go to the shop. Either that or go to another campfire or another elite. What do you guys think? That's a lot of gold, huh? Like imagine if we could get Apotheosis Bottle Lightning. All right, turn that part of the brain off. That's uh, fantasy. <clears throat> Remove that. All right, now fantasy is out of the way. Imagine we, okay, I can't stop. I'm always fantasizing. You don't have to eat to live anymore, but you can eat anything you want without affecting your body. What would you start meaning eating more of? Ass. Oh, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Look, I'm appealing to the memes. Don't clip it. Clip it. All right. So I uh, God, this shit, I can just do this all day. A healthy daily dose of ass. Okay, let's go to the shop. Ah, but I can get another rest. I do need the rest, huh? With two hallway fights. How is the champ fight looking for us? Just for the doctor order. Hey, what's up, Sir Gridham? Serge Ridham. I think I've been saying your name wrong. Sir, Sir Gridham? Serge Gridham. No, Serge Ridham. Frozen egg, you know what? Maybe not bad. And duplication pot tem tambien. Does it I get old for me sometimes, but like I keep it um, balanced. I don't play it for. I mean, SCS in, in general doesn't. It's a game you can play a lot of times. You know, there's always. Uh, sometimes you just wake up and you're like, man, I can play some STS and it feels fresh. But there's also times where you don't want to do more than four hours of it a day. And there's some days you're like, well, today I can feel like I do six or eight. And some days you're just like, me, I don't want to play stage power at all. It's a healthy balance. New chair. Ninja scroll with kunai. No, it's too expensive. <laughs> it's a meme. I will not take your free proc. I'm not going to buy a $285 smooth stone. I refuse. I mean, there's some other consideration that is like, it's got other things going for it, like the damage. It's not just a smooth stone. But for all intents and purposes, it's a smooth stone for way too much money. Um, my bad duplication by here, though. 
Okay. So frozen egg and remove a strike. Ah, God, we're moving another strike. Yes. Yes, we are. That's a lot of money, but damn, it feels good. Damn, it feels good. I want to do the duplication part here. All right. I'm ready. Excuse me, sir. Now's not the time. All right. What a weird turn. What a weird turn. Hit. What's up? Hey, Durless. What is going on here? Can I remove Venom or is that like an honor thing? So, uh, if, if there comes a time where I need to remove Venom, yeah, I would remove it. But I could keep it for now. It's fine. It gets rid of itself. Um, Where is Wraith form when I need it, huh? I could theoretically liquid memory is the Wraith form. Save life. And if he drops a potion, I feel happy because I got toy ornithopter value. Sounds good. Taking five bites of a nice burger. Nice. I'm jealous. I'm still on beta. I'm I'm in beta because I'm perma beta mode. Um, I was born this way. Thank you for acknowledging that. No, I mean it's it's like a nursery, right? So human beings. When you are in something, it's it's kind of lazy. You don't want to get out of something. I mean, there's no reason to be out of beta. It's, you know, we're all the same. And to be fair, we're also going to have updates on beta first, which is always nice. Uh, let me see the, how much I can mitigate right now. Because I can mitigate 11 plus 6. So, uh, free. Now, here's the problem, though. I still want to use this potion just in case I get only your value. So, I'm conflicted. I'm really conflicted. Do I want to keep a lick of memories or do I want to just get the health from it? I played Hearthstone, so guys, I reached Legend back when Mech Mage was a thing. And then after I did that little thing, I was just playing Arena, going for infinite arenas. And then I just stopped playing Hearthstone. But I enjoyed that game. I played a lot of Arena. I used to watch Kriparian and play a lot of Arena. That was me. Oh, this is years ago. Oh my god. Oh. Do we want... Yes, we do. 5 HP. I'm taking it. I'm taking the executive order. Team Fat Tactics. I played Team Fat Tactics a little bit as well. It was fun. Oh, shit. Wow. And we got a potion. Aren't we happy? Team Magic was fun. I haven't played the new recent patch, which apparently is pretty good from what I hear. But yeah, it's... That's an absurd amount of damage. Fuck it, I'll take it. Yeah, Team Magic is apparently like really good with the new patch. I should definitely check it out. Thank you, Lipingus. So I, I, I kind of only skip out for the same purpose. If, like, they drop his potion, I'd rather get the healing. I don't give a crap about this otherwise. Getting chair has been replaced by a new gray chair that has a headrest and makes me feel so nice. Potion, bada bing, look at that healing, look at that toy only thought optimization, min max. You hate, I mean you love to see it, don't hate to see it. Alright, so blur number two is pretty good, let me explain why. Um, got footwork, we got kunai. Having excess block that we can put into a blur form with horn cleat especially, allows us to do poison things pretty freely. But crippling cloud... It's really good. Now, I can't upgrade this Crippling Cloud in particular, but, like, a second Crippling Cloud for the second Catalyst that I have. I mean, the AoE Poison and Weaken is bar none. Don't you feel that Rayform is kind of weak? No, I don't think so. Rayform Plus is absolutely disgusting. Imagine, against the heart. 
two turns of intangible while poison's taken away. It's gross. Because then you can nightmare that raid form, right? Or you can get her apparitions. I mean, it's endless. Or you can get prismatic shard echo form. That's in fantasy. Which shares the one I got? Elle got it. She got like a, a pretty good Amazon review one. I will tell you in a bit. But it's nice. I think it's an affordable one that Elle got on Amazon. Alright, it's a tough choice. That's actually a really tough choice. Blur for all the dexterity we're gonna have, so we can just feel nice and cozy around block while we have poison ticking away, or second crippling cloud, which is no joke. And upgrades are not a thing. I cannot for the life of me win with the watcher. Did you watch my most recent video, How to Win with the Watcher Best Class Ascension 20 Watcher release that was released three days ago or two days ago? If not, that's all the watcher guide you need. I'm just kidding, but not kidding. <laughs> no, Kama, keep going, Kama. We love to hear it. We love to hear it, Kama. Kama, Kama Sutra. Okay, sorry. Guys, this choice is hard as hell. Someone make the choice for me, please. Think late game, think late game. Two blurs with our dexterity. Are we going to prefer that, or we rather hit Crippling Cloud first so we can have AoE handle a little bit easier? Artifact stripping. Two artifacts stripping. Uh, more poison, which helps with catalyst. How's our overall block profile? Oh, man. Choice is done. No upgrades. Oh, my God. I might recall. I think I'm going to recall. I got to. Please give me something for these campfires. I'm begging you. An early catalyst. Well, here's the thing. Duplication potion with Callus? GG. Does anyone know why I didn't get achievements on Steam for completing the game and heart beating with Watcher? I don't think I did either. I wasn't paying attention to that. Is there achievements for that? I thought the Watcher isn't the clickbait. No, it is the best class into 20, and I taught you the best way to play the class. I told you guys, battle him. S tier, look, battle him. Vault, wrath form inducing stuff. A tier. Fasting and. Oh, S tier is also wallop. A tier, fasting, and what's the other one? Tantrum, talk to the hands. Incorporate some of those cards in your deck, you win. I'm exaggerating, but if you know what you're, if you know what you're doing, it's good stuff. Another A tier card is probably like Fear No Evil or like Meditate Plus. Anyways, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna use a potion because I I think a duplication pot catalyst for winning this fight is what I'm gonna do. And we have another catalyst in the deck. And we got blur. Oh my god, look at this blur. Oh boy, I wish I could upgrade while they plans, imagine. Pressure points is uh, F tier. Pressure points F tier. Okay, what is the math right now? So we got 20, so it's gonna be 60. 180. 180 poison. It's gonna take them down. Bam, bam. Is that like perfect lethal? 180 poison is just perfect. Game over, right? Should I waste the potion or just save that potion for the heart potentially? 180 poison is perfect. It's a waste of potion though, right? Because we've got resources up the ass, right? But we can be faster paced and get through this fight. Nah, let's save up resources. Let's be optimal. Nah, it's not valid because the potion, I have a spot for the potion, and I'd rather have this potion for a harder fight. So let's go do this. I'll get this out of the deck though. It's kind of a bad turn. I'll be honest, right? It's not gonna seem snobby. It's gonna seem the opposite. It's for the snobs that I give you this forewarning. Lately, I've been drinking, maybe sort of bottom of the barrel, 
but still home, fresh, and classic. Cafe Bustelo Espresso. Just basic. But if we're talking about like what I prefer, I prefer like cold brew, if I'm being honest. Yeah, cold brew. And even further than that, like I prefer yerba mate tea as my ultimate caffeine intake. Is nice tea, the l theanine value, the yerba mate for the gift of the gab. Um, how long are we shooting for? Maybe like four to six hours. Who knows? Okay, well, math time. Do any of you guys do math time and bath time? Cold brew brownies. What? Are you talking about a whole nother thing? What is going on? I think you... <laughs> no, what is that? <laughs> Cafe Bucello is the Ohio? <laughs> ah, it's a new... 72. Absolutely not. Ludo, are we still talking about the same thing, Ludo? I don't know. We I'm just kidding. Uh, that sounds interesting. I would like to try that, maybe, one day. <laughs> Low odds, Prospero. Probably close to zero. Like, yeah. Uh... This fight is weird, guys. I, I kind of want to duplicate and end it. I'm that latte guy. God, I can just do this all day. Oh, man. Why would I stream Slay the Spiral when I can stream laying back in a chair? Wow. I've needed a headrest my whole life. I never knew I needed a headrest my whole life. Nice shirt chair is better than the wood chair. My wooden hipster chair is still here. I'm using it to hold my wooden hipster mason jars. It's the weirdest thing, guys. I got this wooden chair, and immediately I was like, this is a great place to store mason jars for no apparent reason. And then I'm growing out a mustache. But also my fixie bike's downstairs. I like cold brew as well. I'm also talking crap. Yeah, I got Discord. It's right here. Oh Shut up and take my prime, I will. I got his prime. We're setting prime. up an auction for more primes. Any more primes in the chat? No, I'm kidding. But I'm not kidding. Give me those primes. Thank you, Salem. Welcome back. 17 months. Guys, I don't know what I want to do in this fight. I'm just going to do this. Because, like, I could end the fight with Catalyst, but now I'm, like, not ending the fight with Catalyst, so this is weird. Alright, so 96. Brings him down to... God. Math time. Two forty-four, which is pretty good, because then the next 90-something brings him down to splittage, and then the next 90-something attacks him. This is good. This is, I think he's got to do Callus now. And we have Ra Ra from coming up, right? Because it's going to be like 90... He's going to take like 180. 244. I guess we can do the full math. 244 plus 91. Plus 91, 81, 181, 244. He's going to end up with 60-something life. Is 60-something life doable? That's a lot of damage, actually. Like, 64 damage is a lot of damage for me to need to do without Catalyst. As all my poison's out of the deck. So... If I'm leaving him at 66 life when he's done, right, and I'm depending on Wraith form, I don't think I have the damage. So honestly, I think I just do duplication pot now. <laughs> just end the fight. Fuck it. I don't want to think. Just get me out of here. He does clear debuffs, but the ma the damage is so particular in the sense that it's corpse explosion, thank you. It's so particular in the sense that you have... 
just enough damage right before the split that the next two picks of poison, picks of poison, I just said ticks of poison, picks of poison, you guys know what I'm saying, right? It do their damage, but regardless, we have Coffee Dripper, Black Star, or Runic Dome. Oh. I'm in. Let's go, Flady, with the tier one. Thank you, man. I am. What he? Wait, what did he say? That text of speech was kind of messed up. I don't know what he said there. All right, so if we get Coffee Dripper, we can't do anything at these campfires. Black star. Blame it on a black. All right, copyright, real quick. Copyright, Angel, save me because I'm about to do it and I can't stop. I can't stop. Copyright, Angel, please don't let the video load. It's too late. It's happening. Oh, copyright, Angel, saving me. It's not loading. I'm so sorry for years. Why is it buffering? What is going on? Dude, I swear this song in particular always happens. Oh, listen to this, guys. Listen to this. Why are you buffering? I'm pressing to the Benz Radiohead Classic, please. They need to know about this song. Blame it on a black star. Alright, cut. <laughs> Fucking Christ. Alright. Uh, family friendly, by the way. Alright. Well, that song's not happening. Every single time. So, Black Star? Race scan, you better put a kappa. You better put a kappa race scan because you're about to. F oh, <laughs> I see what you're doing there. Copyright protection, guys. I had the craziest pro copyright protection. It literally buffers songs, so I can't hear them, and it's a blessing in disguise. Great, great stuff. It costs a lot of money. I ca I, I called Xfinity. I was like, hey, listen, oh. I stream sometimes. I get the urge to play songs. Please put buffer in every song I ever play. Works like magic. Let's go, Flayden. Oh. Five gifted subs. Welcome all the new subs. You now have a couple of emotes, and uh, you are oh. part of the change browser, probably. Thank you, Flayden. Huge gifted subs. All right. Oh. I guess we have toy ornithopter to heal, so we don't have to rest at the shop at the, at the campfire. And then we have five energy, which is pretty good for better malaises. And. The energy that we have can be put into blurs because we'll have excess energy. And all of that can be put into blurs so that energy is not really wasted. So, copy your bears is a consideration. All, any professional dodgers in the chat? We got some big dodge. Yo, thank you, man. Appreciate it, Flayden. Wallet for Ironclad. I had that. Wait, guys. I have a video with Ironclad Prismatic, but I didn't upload it because, I don't know, I felt like I was memeing too hard. But I got Wallop on the Ironclad, it was glorious. I just barely missed Lethal on the heart though, I was a little upset. And when I looked back at the video, I found out exactly what I did wrong, and I was even more upset. Is Blackstar better here? No. Alright guys, Copper Chipper, this is how we throw the run. This is how we throw the run. Five energy, got blurs to put that energy somewhere. Three campfires, nothing to do with them. Okay. What's next? Jesus Christ, we need something for these campfires. This is going to be atrocious. Just don't go to any campfires at all? What did I even just do right now? This is terrible. What did I just do?
should've done dash first. Whoopsies. Shavor Ogiria? Yeah. Pathiosis? Dark Shackles is pretty good. Discovery! Okay. Is Impatience good here? I take a lot of damage, I agree. But, like, I think Apotheos is pretty good for this deck. So, Impatience, I wonder if it's... Because we need card draw, right? And I think with 5 energy, Impatience is a good card. Any agreeers in the chat? Deck's a little fat, sure. Mind Blast could utilize the fatness. Mm. Discovery is interesting. Dark Shackles is pretty good. But here's the thing. Dark Shackles, 5 energy, I don't have that much card draw. Drawing into a Dark Shackles doesn't feel that great, but it is a good card. What if I do Double Wine Blast? Oh, what am I doing, Jeremy? What are you even suggesting? Guys, sometimes I have this, it's like a tick. It's like a um, diarrhea suggestions. It's weird. What if I Double Wine Blast at 2 cost? Imagine I actually said that unironically. Wow. <laughs> Incredible, but if I could upgrade them, you know, it wasn't and it's not a bad idea if I could upgrade them. But that's the diarrhea talking again <clears throat> uh, Okay I think patience makes sense and discovery makes sense. Uh, should I take one mind blast? Like unironically no, I don't know guys Okay, we got an upgrade. What's the best upgrade while well, plans? Yes. All right, we're making progress. I don't feel as bad anymore. Oh my god, this is a great turn. I, you guys are just hating. Oh shit. I should've done Impatience and then hold the two cards. I should've done Impatience and held the two cards, but the game's over, right? I should use a potion, just in case they drop, they drop, drop a potion. I should use a potion, right? It's too late though, right? Fuck. Okay, thank God. Gotta be careful though, because we have sustain. Okay. Infinite blades for kunai. Thoughts? Infinite blades for the cheeky little kunai proc every turn. Thoughts, considerations, mantras, feelings. Big brain, small brain. Okay, Awaken 1 punishes this, and Time Meter punishes this a little bit, right? Time Meter, it's weird, because with Time Meter, you could dictate how you push him over the edge, because Infinite Blades can be that little extra card each turn that you can utilize. But the the, the value of a, a single Shiv in the, in the uh, Time Meter fight is pretty low. It seems pretty mediocre, the, the, the value, right? But having Kunai Scaling... Like, if you can get Kunai Scaling every single turn, I can imagine it just makes your blurs better. Is Kunai something you really care about? It's interesting. Because we... if we can, like, sort of guarantee we get a Kunai, like, a Dexterity every single turn, with the five energy we have, we have a lot of energy, then it makes the blurs better. Ah, that's weird. Alright, two elites. I'm gonna do potion here. Because you might drop a potion. This fight's annoying. I'm 
Look at our block. God, our deck does does block a lot. We need we need some better stuff though. Our deck's pretty good. All things are said, our deck's pretty good. A second, another piercing wheel. <sighs> we have two piercing wheels. We're good. All right, what elite is it? Reptomancer. Hi. Okay. Ice. I'm gonna get some more espresso, bustelo, guano, barato, pero muy bueno, and I'll be right back. Okay. Two minutes. All right, guys. Two minutes. TikTok time. Alright, I'm really bad at TikToks. I'll be right back. I'm really bad at TikToks. Wow, I'm really bad. Alrighty. Reptomancer, the death of all runs. I drink my espresso out of a coffee mug. The real OG stuff. Okay. Mathematics Anonymous. This turn involves... As long as you stick out your finger, that's, uh, that's what matters most. Okay, what's up, Breko? I'll do it for you. Hmm. I'd take my espresso directly from IV, directly into the bloodstream. Well, that's after my coffee enema. Don't do that at home. Very dangerous. Just a joke. You never know, people. Coffee enema sounds like a great idea. It's not. Don't do it. But if you were to do it, I recommend a specific kind of... No. Whatever happened to the elite that summoned fireballs? This was it. Uh, guys, I have to do this turn. All right. Here's the age-old question, all right? There's a lot of things to consider. I want to get footwork out. I want to get Wally Plains out. I can take some damage, take a wound. That's fine. Set up myself for success. Next turn, I take another three damage. So we set up ourselves for success. This is what we do. Now we're cooking with the biggest of gas. The most extreme version of gas. Except for one small problem. The guys on top don't die exactly. Just a tiny problem. Because they got 25 HP. Now guys, we call that high roll. 25 HP on the new summons is not typical. I'm pretty sure that's the max HP they can get. So here I am complaining about that. Nah, but corpse bottom left is 21. So they're gonna die next turn. But that's fine. They'll die next turn, it's totally fine. But they're not dying this turn. Bottom left I can't do it because I can't kill the bottom left. Bottom right is 21, bottom left can't do it. No, but bottom left won't die to Corpse Explosion. Yeah, he's going to kill himself, but I don't want to take 25 to the face. I don't know the order in which they attack. That's taking 25 to the face. It's better to just leave, kill these two 25s, which is a big 50 damage, and these will die next turn. You guys are crazy. You guys are out of your minds. Unbelievable. Twitch that would kill itself in an instant. Imagine not having full block... You guys are nuts.
Absolutely nuts. Let me handle it, guys. I got it. Don't you worry. I got you guys covered. Big Papa's got you covered. Blame it on a black star. Okay. Alright, I gotta do Discovery. I just gotta see what it's gonna be. But first, maybe we'll play all the cards first. Let me see. We're gonna Kalos as well. Fight's pretty much over. Let's just gonna get as much damage as possible. Looking at 12 plus 6 is 18. 18 is no problem. I can block with 2 energy, so we can do this. That's pretty cool. Nice. Alright, GG. Look at him go. Look at him go. Handling Reptomancer with class. Alright. I'm a little worried about this deck, though. Luxship is fantastic. I'm a little worried because... I can't do shit at campfires. Let's call for a headrest time. Woo, this is, what a life, guys. They say money can't buy happiness, but it can buy comfort. What's up, Thurnamon? I don't know if I want this for 181 because I feel like if there's anything that's going to save me it's buying something at the shop to make this these campfires feel well at this point the campfires are already done right what could I buy at the shop or do I want to even go to the shop turn one weekend stops with the artifacts of Donor Deca helps corpse explosion become easier on Donor Deca same concept of active for elite makes corpse explosion easier, makes the whole poison process easier. But aside from that, 181 could potentially lead to more money, which could be. I mean, I don't know exactly what I would want at a shop. What would I want at a shop? Not that. Something else. I don't know yet, but something else. Blame it on a black star. Woo! Corpus explosion time. It takes two to make a thing go right. The deck is powerful, but lacking. It's powerful, but lacking. You can believe the combination of words that come out of my mouth. Powerful but lacking. Predator for card draw. Alright guys, make a choice. When we hit, when we see a campfire, we can't do anything there. It's a dead node. Alright? So I was thinking going to the left. Reduce the amount of dead nodes. 
But going here is not bad either because this hits a shop. So it goes bam, mm -hmm. dead node, shop. That seems to be the fairest. Art of War is pretty good, but I gotta get rid of it. Who's the fairest of them all? Who should I malaise here? You're the chosen one. You're the chosen one. Corpse explosion, I summon thee. And there it is. The rare and elusive corpse explosion. Out from the depths of where? I don't know. Okay, we could do this. We could do a lot of things. Jesus. Check this out. There's a lot of good things there. I should drink a potion just in case they, uh, you know, drop a potion, right? What do I value the least? I value the strength potion the least. Bingo. Now, dodge roll is a hella good card. I gotta take that one. Like, I've been neglecting it. Uh, the deck's getting really fat. I mean, it's already been really fat. But I think a singular... Oh, my bad. Oh, uh, my bad. A singular dark, dodge and roll is okay in this mass of 35 cards. Wait, did I move that? I moved something else. I thought I moved the camera. Okay, my bad. Yes. I agree. Okay. <laughs> 35 cards, though. It's a big deck. Wow, wow, wow. What's that, Nightbot? You're a sub now. Wow, lots of damage. Impressive. Discovery time. Hey. Big blurs. I respect the blurs. I want more blurs. Blur, 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 blur. I need another blur, actually. One more blur and we're good. This guy's mean. Nothing's meaner than what I'm about to do to him right now. All right, slow and steady. So we're destroying everything. The spire is a joke to us. The only problem is, I use a potion just because we might get a potion. I don't care about explosive pop. We want the healing, max HP would be great, nice. Problem is, uh, okay, we just gotta think about the heart. Let me think, let me think. I'm shocked we're nice and stacked. Give me potion, please. Preserve insects, interesting. So noxious Wings plus is pretty good. Alchemize could be interesting to give us more out of the fights through means of potions, but that's also probably Noxious Zoom is just, yeah. I mean, Alchemize does give us a stain with Onithopter, and it can give us an element of more, which this deck probably feels like it needs a little more. But maybe it's just strong enough, honestly. I mean, got a lot of block. Got a good dexterity. Got strong poison. It's probably just enough to beat the heart, honestly. Noxious Fumes is like... Mm. Artifact stripping. Scaling. Do I need Noxious? It's another setup card. Do I need it? It doesn't hurt. I'm never going to get to Noxious. So here's my philosophy. My deck is 35 cards. When I get into Noxious Fumes, it's probably less useful at the point that I receive it, unless I get lucky, which is not a very strong uh, strategy. But Alchemize, whenever you reach Alchemize, is pretty much always valuable because it has only Thopter value and is a potion. So if, if I see Alchemize on turn one or I see it on turn five, um, I'm, I'm gonna enjoy playing Alchemize, I think. Whereas Noxious Fumes is like, 
I just don't know how impactful it's going to be. Impact. That's what we're looking for. I need a new top laner. I'm going to bring an impact. Welcome aboard. It being not upgraded is not important. Eh, not, how come it's being upgraded is not important here? That is the least of my concerns. It's about the value on the turn that I see it. And with 5 energy, Onithopter, Alchemize, she was valuable pretty much every single time I see it. Noxious Fumes. I think we're good on Poison, that's the thing. I think we're good on Poison. I think we're good on Poison. As crazy as that sounds... Hey, I got you, Rayscan. I got you. Let's go. Guitar with the Twitch Prime. Appreciate you. Okay. Okay. This is a shop. Uh -uh. So all aboard for Funnel? Or, alright, here's what we could do. We could Funnel and Wally Plains number 2. Retain 4 cards so the 5 energy never feels bad. Can I even make value out of 4 cards? I don't think so. Happy Flower for more energy. Move stone for more. Nah, I think we take the funnel here. Finally got a penny, penny to buy a crown. Yo, thank you, guitar. Spend your pennies wisely. Because you can throw pennies in my face when I make a misplay. And that's totally fine. Twisted funnel is what it's called. Twisted funnel. At the start of each combat, apply a four poison to all enemies. The black leaf is three shifts. We could remove a strike. Right? That would make the deck super nice if I remove a strike. That's big brain optimization. I could remove a strike and get a second Wally just to have ultimate um, retain. Yo, Tower next with the follow. Appreciate that. Why are my notifications not coming up? Like, the follows and, like... My notifications are all messed up right now. I don't know why. But I see you. Is is funnel course question redundant? No, it's not redundant. It's not redundant. No, 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 it's not redundant. Okay, I can buy a potion or I can save my money for the Act Four shop. I feel like the second Wally Plains really doesn't make a lot of sense. I can't see a world where holding four cards is justifiable. I just can't see that world. And I think saving my money for the Act Four is better. And give me an event, good event, good event, huge event. Upgrade all cards. Okay. So remember that natural stab. That's a full heal. <laughs> remember in Venom? You guys remember this card in Venom? Yeah. Yeah. Max HP, please. Do we like in Venom, though? Like, have I grown kind of sentimental towards it? So if I took the Noxious Fumes, I would feel okay getting rid of in Venom. But I didn't take Noxious Fumes, so now, like, in Venom was helping... It was helping my poison stay like, ticked up. It was hoping my poison stay ticked up. But I think it still can go. Guitar, you're a genius. I didn't realize when you gave me the Venom, you were gonna that was gonna happen. Alright, guys, those campfires. Ah, oh, we have so many upgrades, guys. Imagine. Rayform wants to be upgraded. The second catalyst. Jeez, man. Fusion hammer is rough. Draw time. Tools of the trade. Um, man. I still think we could do this, but like... Do I want a deck spot for this? I don't think I need a deck spot for this. We're fine. I could use one piercing wall now. I mean, it's totally fine as well. We're fine.
I'm not taking a hit then. Fair enough. Do I want to save life? Do I need two piercing wells? Because I have my laser deck, so... Since I have my laser deck, I'm not going to need the piercing well. Wow. This is awkward. A lot of waste of energy. Freak me. I wanna get Kanai proc. Is that worth it? Is it my lace time? Alchemist time. Black pot. See, keep it like that, right? How are we gonna utilize Catalyst here? This is the first bus. Big blur, blur malaise. Big blur malaise. Worth. You want to say this malaise for the second phase? I'm not sure. I'm thinking. We have double callus, right? So one callus is not upgraded, but say okay, this do the math. First boss, first boss. 17, 17, 34, 34, uh 102. 102 poison, 102 poison is gonna be 302, 200, and 1. It's not lethal. 201, that's gonna go down to 101. He's gonna end up with 101 life, and then he's gonna revitalize himself. So, I can just wait on the catalyst. I can wait until it's lethal, right? Hype in chat, hype in chat. I guess this is not really a hype fight, though, if I'm being honest. He's pretty anti-hype. I'm gonna save this though. The time meter is the opposite of hype. Fine, you can hype it up. Hype it while you want. Go hype, 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 hype. I won't complain. I can hold on to Rayform, but Catalyst... I mean... Guys, I should've taken the Noxious Fumes maybe, huh? I should have taken Noxious Fumes. Everybody's hyping, here I am just sitting back in my headrest. Oh yeah. Woo. Thank you, Ajo, Aho, like garlic, Aho. Is your name a reference to the anime? Uh, wait, never mind. I just went full Twitch. One one twelve is the pace of this guy, James Bond's video, and then yeah, never mind. At what point is Callus gonna be good for me though? At what point? Ninety six. Ninety six. It's close, but not good enough. All right. Kunai to blur. Is it worth it? Can't even do that.
technically, ah, oh, but wait, where am I? I don't have poison. Okay, the more I like, kind of sit down, the more I don't have poison. I don't have noxious fumes. This deck actually really wants noxious fumes. Wait, I just realized we we're in a little bit of trouble. This deck really wants noxious fumes. We're not losing, but like we're not. I could use it just to get the block, right? If he doesn't drop a potion, that's a thing. Ah, let me see something. If I doubled now, next turn I have lethal, right? Wait, wait. If I do this, next turn I have lethal? Or is not, not, I don't. Cause look, this puts him at 240, right? 240? Okay, 38. So, 38, okay, 38. And then next one I do this. 37, 41, 41 times that. At lethal next turn. Fuck this up. No, we're fine. Stack up the uh, Unshaku. Today I'm going to teach you how to roast a bird. This is Thanksgiving uh, tutorial. Thanksgiving tutorial, okay? First, what you do is you put your foot into the bird. You put your foot directly into the bird. Okay? Second thing you do is you lay down. We're gonna get to poisoning the bird soon, but make sure your loved ones don't eat out of make sure your loved ones don't eat this. In fact, nobody eat this, because there's gonna be a lot of poison involved. I'm gonna show you something. Once I get adrenaline, the fight's over. Once I get adrenaline, the fight's over. You ready for this? It's unbelievable. I don't have to hold on the catalyst here.
adrenaline and the fight is over. Where art thou? The worst rare card happens to be... It's a tough question. It's a tough question. I don't have time for this charlatry. I need to focus on the fight. It's a stupid tough question. No, I'm kidding. I'm teasing, I'm teasing. Uh, let me see. Alright, once we get a drill and the fight's over, please, please, please. Oh, you can't see the boss? Oh, my head's too big. Fair enough. I do have a big head, big streamer. There it is. So what am I going to do with you, bird? So now that your Thanksgiving <coughs> turkey is prepared, this is where things get interesting. You got to stab the left wing. That's to get the juices to marinate. This is a really weird I, I should just stop. Guys, tell me to stop. Honestly, I should stop. It's getting weirder and weirder. Blaricate time. What can I do to make my big head not block the stream? Guys, yeah, I should take Noctis Tomb, shouldn't I? Isn't Malay's a great card? Isn't Malay's just a really cool card? If I want to save time, I could do one catalyst. Mm. Alright, guys, everybody get your pillows, get your headrests. We all know you guys have your headrest, right? I'm not the only one. This is how you play this fight. All right, let me show you what you gotta do. This is how you win the fight. I'm doing good, man, just chilling. Killing some birds. I gotta make this faster. I don't, okay, I'm really struggling for damage. <clears throat> this is bad for the heart. This is a bad, uh, bad look. This is a bad look for the heart. I need, I maybe not assume if it's necessary. Maybe not assume if it's necessary. Oh man, I'm gonna need something big at the shop. Big blur, big blur, big blur. I took rid of the Venom for the 10 mix at max speed, but maybe, like, remember how I said when I get rid of the Venom, it's gonna make, it's gonna make my lack of Noxious Streams not taking that and make it worse. So the Venom was kind of useful. I'm getting Kunai procs though. Oh, look at this. Oh, God. Look at this, guys. Oh, Lord. We're going to have a big blur for the next phase. I should keep the weaken, though, right? If I can get Kunite proc instead. Now, look at that blur. Draw right back into blurry. Ready? Boom. Fight's over. Hi. Okay, not really. We're not out of the woods yet. We do have some dexterity, and we have Wraith Home to fall back on. But the fight's not over yet. Okay, blur again. Okay, the fight's over. Still not over though. It really is not over. We still need to do catalyst stuff. So let's try to like, maybe this is just a good catalyst. I can make it better. Nah, let's just go. Hold on to these two bad boys. Next Kyle is coming up, hot and ready. Thanksgiving turkey, ready to be served. All right, we're gonna have to figure out the damage for the heart, all right, guys? We'll, we'll keep in track we stack like that. 
we'll keep it like we'll keep it stacked, right? Sure, keep it in Shaggy stacked. For the Act 4 Elite. Maybe I need cow traps. This is what I need. Alright, let me see. The I think, what, what I think. Oh god, what are we gonna do? Guys, look at, please, feel my pain, alrighty? Look, we're about to, look, look, look at this. Proceed. Oh god. God, I hate that, I need upgrades. <laughs> Decided. Decide? Decide? That's. I think I got your name right. What's up, man? Thanks for follow. Okay. Footwork number two? I mean, they would just have enough block to never die, but then do we have damage is the question. Just gotta get Callus out. Hope for the best. Do we need for work number two? It's not bad. Hmm. A fat deck. Imagine. What does a man do with a fat deck? Guys, I wouldn't know. Alright? Any fat deckers in this chat? What's the solution? I'll take a footwork. Let's go. I guess I could have done like a region pot, but. Alrighty. Time to go. Turn one adrenaline. What do you got for me? Whoa. Big value. I kind of want to use. No, let me see. I need Noxious Tombs, damn. What if I save Burst for the Catalyst? I, like, Burst is tempting right now, surely. But if I save it for a Catalyst and Corpse Explosion, we win the fight easier, no? Like, sure, Double Burst right now protects a lot of life. Double Blur, I mean. But Catalyst is the big brain play. Because we need to hold on to it for the Corpse Explosion shenanigans. And it's, it is not, how do we say, it's small-minded to use Burst now. What's up, NYC Childish? Dude, we gotta hold on to the Burst for the Catalyst. We wanna end this fight ASAP with Corpse Explosion. Or am I tripping? Oh. I'm tripping. I'm, am I tripping? I'm probably tripping. I'm probably, hey, thanks for Twitch Prime. Welcome back. Twitch Prime, let's go. Uh, we are, I think it's a bad thing. The espresso is crazy. No TikTok this time. There's no TikTok this time. Or, there might be. I, I might be lying. Cheers, let's go. Spooky, yuki, yuki, wuki. Wuki, wuki. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's too big? Am I too big? Wow, why am I so large? Mm, okay. Uh, I want to do burst catalyst, but. I also don't. I, wait, I can't just like burst piercing whale, right? We gotta think about. We gotta think about the options, guys. Burst piercing whale is a thing as well. There's so many options. I think burst holding burst is the best play. Gotta keep the burst.
I know it doesn't exhaust, but the point is not... I'm not gonna draw... I'm not trying to draw back into this fight. I'm not trying to draw back into this fight. Like, I want to kill them as quick as possible with Corporate Explosion Catalyst. It's not about if exhausting, it's about 29 cards that might as well exhaust. You guys are not thinking big enough. Like, why would you burst life people when you want to burst from the cloud because you want to get damage out? I'll teach you chat one day. One day my chat won't say stupid things. Just kidding. Haha, <laughs> teasing. Teasing. Big tease. I was hiding from the cloud. Oh, okay, my bad, my bad, my bad. Who's the, who's the superior crippling clouder? Because like I could crippling cloud this guy catalyst. Yo, try try a demon. Wait, this is tough. Try a demon enigma power rot. Thanks for the follow. Crazy name. Uh, let me see something. Try a. Hope there's catalyst on this guy is crazy. So is Malays, but like, we're trying to end the fight. Um, I can't I can't kill this turn. So, wait, let's look at the poison. 10, 10 poison, 26, 23. 69 poison, quite nice. 2 turn lethal, but 2 turn lethal is not enough because I want to block here. So if I put my all my eggs in that basket, then is that even better? Maybe it's just as good. Maybe it's just as good to go this way. Still a lot of damage we took though. We still took a lot of damage. Stack up the chakra here. I tried saving life, but I'll tell you what. Burst blur. What is it gonna save us more life there? We got upgrades, that's huge. We got upgrades. So no potion. We got some upgrades. That's pretty decent. If I get the catalyst hit, that's really good. Terror could help with damage, but I, at the same time, I don't really want to strike too much. I think Terror's bloat. Let's get out of the bloat. Hit me catalyst. Okay. Two defense is an option. Sure. Alright. I need a lot of luck. Now I can hold my piercing well. Hold on, my lace piercing well. Really lack of luster of starting turn, but like, okay. We got a full workout. I can't stop the vulnerable. The biggest threat right now is going to be a six or seven damage. 67 damage is no joke. Fuck. I wonder if it's worth it to do dagger spray in patience. In the event that we find like... 67 damage is a lot of damage. So 
So I taught you guys how to poison a bird and eat it for Thanksgiving. Today we're going to show you how to butcher a heart. Or be heartbroken by love. This can be a poetic run. And it has two different endings. Find out. Stay tuned. Sixty. So if I do dagger spray and patience. I'm taking four damage. And what am I looking for? More setup. Adrenaline. Uh, Alchemize. Wraith. Saber. Ah, is this the play though? Dagger spray and patience. Is that the play? What are we looking for? A weaken? Try to get Catalyst out of way so quickly. I mean, we do want to get Catalyst going ASAP. 67 is going to be the biggest threat right now. So when I in face of 67 damage, I'm a little scared. And that's why I don't want to take any health damage. Because I have to block 67, right? So taking health damage seems bad. If I card draw ASAP though, like, I need to get into a lot of these cards. I just gotta survive this next turn. I survive this next turn, I'm fine. I think. Survive the 67. Survive the 67. Survive the 67. Did we wait for him for the 67? That seems crazy. That's so nuts. That seems nuts. We have a weekend. Mike, my man. Thank you, man. Oh, nice chair. <laughs> you mean chair? I <laughs> hear you thought. Okay, nah. The both of us, I agree with you. I know. We couldn't weaken. Yes. Yes. Alright. It's a paltry hit. It's a small flesh wound, my dear sir. A mere flesh wound. But I really want to stack the poison up because we really need catalyst to pop off because damage is really slow. So I take this two hit just to get more poison and that's worth it, yeah? Absolutely. Because big multi hits are not a problem. Because we got piercing whale and there's the catalyst. Oh boy. I am titillated right now. I am absolutely titillated. Whoa, okay. So we're gonna take some damage here. We wanna get Kalash popping off now. I want to just, oof. We're just gonna take hits, that's totally fine. So piercing, crippling, catalyst, that's the best play. I didn't say brave form, yeah. It's a little ambitious, right? But I'm gonna save malaise, which, so the big hit is not gonna be a problem. We have a lot of dexterity, right? And the small hit's gonna be malaise, so. I'm not worried at all. The biggest turn was the vulnerable and we already got past it, so I'm not worried. But what would Discovery give us? Because Discovery is energy. I can't afford the energy of Discovery. I think we should do crippling mean we do piercing wheel crippling catalyst. It takes sex damage. Good poison, good poison. More catalyst, please. Oh, big blur. Yes. What do you got, Discovery? More poison. That's good. Poison's looking good. We need more, one more catalyst, one more catalyst. Let's get a Kunai proc here. Big, big, big. All right. That was no problem. Small hit. I can take care of that because we got another piercing whale. We can save my laser yet again, but I probably want to sack the weekend instead. I do want to get more poison coming because we're about to have Callus, but Callus seems good enough as it, as it is. I can just my laser now because. It gives me the weekend for the rest of the fight, and I get it out of my deck. Get ready from coming up. 
Ooh, okay. Big stuff. Big stuff this turn. What do you got, Alchemize? Weak pot. That's useless. Look at the big boy go. He's about to do it. This was a bad turn. He's about to do it. Somebody stop this man. I can save my piercing will to really optimize and maximize. I mean, do, I, do I need to save? I don't need to save the piercing wall. I mean, I have Ray Form and piercing wall. Like, it's game over. Get some healing. We have Ray Form piercing wall. I can't lose. I have a free turn. Ray Form piercing wall. Don't even need it. Imagine. The silent. It's broken. And look at Rayform right here. Juicy. Just in case you doubted it. Bam. Alright guys. Well that's how you butcher the heart. Not a long run but easy run. Lots of good things. Eight brain not today Raymundo. I take Rayform don't even need it. Yay. Yeah.